Colleen Rooney lets her hair down on a 12-hour bender with Powell's, after the latest salvo in the battle with Rebecca Vardy over a £1. 8 million legal bill. Rebecca, who was ordered to pay 90% of Colleen's costs after losing their wag at the Christie libel trial, is furiously contesting the final sum, it has emerged. But as the war rages on, sources told how mum of four Colleen, 37, enjoyed an all-day session partying at the five-star Conrad Algarve near Faro in Portugal last weekend. Fellow guests at the Plush Resort, which boasts a Michelin star restaurant, said the WAG and friends began drinking at the pool bar at 11 a.m. and continued into the early hours. One said, Colleen and her mates were having the time of their lives. They were in Portugal for a wedding on the Saturday but lost no time in hitting the bar on Sunday morning, and then carried on. At 11 p.m. they were still going and some members of the group didn't call it a night until even later. They weren't rowdy at all, just a group of girls letting their hair down and having a lot of fun, and good for them. Colleen had jetted to the Algarve for the Saturday wedding of friends Sinead Moynihan and Ben Cowgill, leaving husband Wayne at home with their children. Other guests at the do included Stockport County player Phil Bardsley and wife Danya, who posted a snap on social media of Colleen in a yellow dress in a group of other pals. The Real Housewife of Cheshire captioned the photo, What a day! The most beautiful wedding. Rebecca, wife of Leicester City ace Jamie, reportedly hit the roof last week after receiving the final tally of Colleen's costs, which were originally estimated at £500,000. Her legal team have asked for clarification on the bill, which is said to include a £2,000 stay for one lawyer at London's Posh Nobu Hotel. Meanwhile, Colleen is preparing to reveal her side of the wag at the story in a bombshell Disney Plus documentary to air later this year. She will also appear on the cover of Vogue. Representatives of Colleen and Rebecca were contacted for comment, 